Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk to the whole world, not to just English or French, uh, about anxiety. Um, I've had a pan well, panic attacks. I've had a panic attack last night, it was really, really bad. I am basically, um, was, um, um, my heart was beating really fast. Um, I was breathing very fast. I felt like I was dying. Uh, I felt like I had a stroke because I hurt there in the arm. And when you're hypochondriac, you think you're dying. Even in a panic attack, you think you're dying. It's an awful feeling. And I actually, man, this says, I'm crawling in my skin. It's like you're, you're, it's all inside of you and you can't get it out. It's just stuck inside of you. And, and, and your brain, and, and, and you want to take out your brain out. It's just an awful feeling. It's really difficult to explain to someone who doesn't know what anxiety is or panic attacks. But when you see someone having one, like my boyfriend last night, I think I think he understood because I call the emergency room, and that, that's where I'm, where I want to get at. If you have chronic panic attacks, call your doctor or your psychiatrist if you have one or a doctor who will uh, tell you where to go to see a, a psychiatrist do you have medication because when you call in the emergency room or you have to go there but you, you have a panic attack so you can't move or they will tell you take a Xanax or a Valium I take Valium and it calms you down but if you don't have the medication uh, how to say um, beforehand you can't uh, you well, you can't do anything. You have to wait till it goes away, but it never goes away because panic attacks can last hours. It's horrible. It's, <clears throat> it's a bit like someone dying. Yeah, it's like <sighs> like that. Um, it, it's 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 really really awful. Um, I don't. Uh, I just say, I don't wish it to anyone, even not my worst enemy. Uh, it's just an awful feeling. Um, what can I say else about anxiety? Because there's a lot of symptoms. You have, um, um, you feel a bit groggy, I don't know if you say it in English. You feel a bit like, uh, like your head is in like a, a mixer or something. Um, but basically, the big thing about anxiety is that, yeah, and your arms are all light, you feel, and you can also have delirium because you you, you breathe so fast and your heart beats so fast that you could kind of see things moving. It's a bit weird. That's more bipolar, but um, usually when you have panic attacks, you have a disorder. I don't know what disorder, but you have something. But I know you can have a panic attack after a trauma or something. Uh, so basically, yeah, um, panic, panic attacks are horrible. Um, you have to call the emergency room immediately. Uh, the next day, see a doctor if you haven't seen one. Uh, it's not normal to feel like that. Uh, and never say to the person next to you, I'm fine, because you're not fine. You have to tell the person the truth. I don't feel well. Can you give me a cuddle? Can you try to calm me down? Even if it doesn't work, <laughs> it works a little bit. Uh, my boyfriend was there, so it wasn't a big panic attack. It was a small panic attack, if you can say that. So basically, yeah, um, I'm talking to the whole world here. Um, if you can hear me um, in Australia, in Russia, <laughs> in the South, in America Latina, uh, it, uh, United States, anxiety is everywhere in every country. Um, so I'm talking to every or the whole world. Um, I had anxiety for a year, or um, I called the emergency room every single night. Do you imagine? Ah, in French, I'll translate later. Ah, c'est encore vous, Madame Redding. Ah, you again, Miss Redding. Uh, so. Um, Yes, they knew me, they know who I am, um, but what else can you do when you're alone at home, when you have a panic attack? I had no one, my friends sleep, or I sleep at 2 in the morning or 3 in the morning, so I can't call them. So I call 
And uh, by the way, I want to add, um, when you say a real friend would wake up at 4 in the morning to help you, I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's just my opinion. When you say a real friend, real friends don't exist. Like, everyone has a life. Like, leave your friends alone. Like, but if it's in the day, it's okay. But if it's at night, call the emergency that emergency room is there for that, for emergencies. And that is a, definitely an emergency. Your brain is all over the place. You, 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 you can't even react to things like laugh or... Because my boyfriend was trying to make me laugh with jokes and I was couldn't, I couldn't laugh. I was like, huh, like that. Um, you're in another world. Um, but just what I want to finish with is that... Coming back to bipolar, because you'll see on my channel, I talk a lot about bipolar disorder. I'm going to try to make a lot more English videos because I'm half English, half French, it would be stupid not to use my English for the good and for stopping the stigma about bipolar. But when you have bipolar, there's little things that are, that gravi gravitate, I think, gra <laughs> gravitate, <laughs> that all around bipolar. So there's cigarettes, alcohol, anxiety, um, eating disorders, um, like, all you eat, too much or you don't eat at all. I've had both. Oh yeah, you can see Paris here, so no. No, Paris isn't this only city in France. I'm from Strasbourg. Strasbourg, if you look on the map of the world, or, or France, it's in the northeast. So no, I'm not from Paris, but my boyfriend was called in Paris, so he bought this, and I, I love it, so I wear it. But uh, it's funny when I go to England, ah, oh, you're French, how's, how's Paris like? I, I wouldn't really know because I'm not from Paris. Oh, where are you from? Strasbourg. Oh, you live in Germany? No, I'm French. I live in Strasbourg. But isn't isn't Strasbourg German? It was at, in the at the time, but now it's French. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so no, uh, Paris isn't the only city in France. There is... There are loads and magnificent cities. I can name a few if I can brag about France. Um, Bordeaux, the wine. Um, La Bretagne, Brittany, uh, for the magnificent, um, what's it called? Um, paysage, paysage, vous regarderez. You'll look up paysage, uh, the landscape. Beautiful landscape. Uh, there's the southeast, Cannes, etc. Uh, there's uh, obviously uh, even Calais in the north is quite beautiful, from from what I've heard, um, and uh, yeah, um, Paris. Oh, Paris is good for a holiday, but to live there, and no, thank you. Okay, so I think I I was completely off topic because I'm talking to the whole world here. I want you to know a bit, a bit about France. And I'll do another big video about me, maybe, I don't know what yet, I'll see. Um, maybe talking about France and how... Oh yes, I know, I want to talk about something else. I'm going to uh, ask you all, uh, the world, to tell me in the, your, uh, in the comments of this video uh, how... Uh, bipolar or mental illness is dealt with in your country. How does it work? How is it taken care of? Is Are there doctors? Are there um, hospitals for this? Um, are there uh, uh, phone, uh, phone, um, a phone you can call when you're not well? Are there um, different units for women who are gonna have a baby? Because all of this exists in France and in Strasbourg, that's why I'm asking. So everyone in the world here, uh, so uh, in China, in Russia, in Brazil, in uh, South uh, Africa, wherever, uh, can you tell me how it is, how is mental illness dealt with in your country? How does it work? And, and then I'll make a video uh, maybe about all us. Uh, uh, Skype maybe with some well, some of you if you want about how is uh, bipolar and mental illness dealt with in your country. Um, I definitely want to know. It's really interesting. 
Um, so tell me about it uh, in the comments and tell me if you want to Skype, etc. Um, so yeah, it would be really, really, really interesting to know. In France, it's really well. In Strasbourg, it's really good. Uh, I'm not scared when I know I have to go to hospital, but I know in other countries it must be difficult. So please, 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 please uh, put in, uh, messages under this video with uh, how is it in your country with mental illness. Okay, that will be my next video, uh, and I'll do another one talking a bit maybe about whatever, I'll see. Okay, thank you very much, bye.